All right, hello, my name is Ken with Virtual Fly North America. And uh, pretty much with Virtual Fly, I run a lot of the support and installations on the large scale sims. Okay, so when you order an on top duo, or really any sim for that matter, um, it doesn't come like this. It comes in a big, gigantic crate. It's actually an oversized crate that normally comes via sea freight. Um, so one of the first things we do when we go on site, it takes about a day to do the full unboxing um, the crate is actually, it's in an aluminum bag, <clears throat> which keeps all the electronics safe from, you know, the salt in the air and the ocean and the trip. Um, but yeah, it comes in a big crate, almost fully put together for the most part, but it's about a full day because it's about 3,000 pounds to take it apart, move it. And once you get it out of the crate, um, it's on nice casters where we can just roll it to wherever we want it. And we can always reposition it too. So um, these rubber discs hold it in place and lift it off the ground. Um, but the sim itself is on a set of casters. So to move the sim, um, all you do is you lift up here and then it rolls around to wherever you want it to go. So under, under here is where we keep the uh, commercial motors and also the computer, which is almost like an industrial control type PC that runs um, the motion platform. This is a, a commercial full motion platform that, you know, this is an FAA approved, very realistic sim. So it's very important to have the reliability to not use cheaper motors and not use just like a Windows PC to run the motion. Very important, very responsive. When you move the yoke, you get immediate response. And a lot of that is because of the industrial control components and the commercial motors um, in our motion pump. So once you receive it, um, <clears throat> there's just a few hookups that you have to make basically. We have power and uh, ethernet, okay? So this is the ethernet cord, which provides internet to the whole simulator. And you gotta remember, there's a lot going on in there. You have the motion control, you have the main visual PC, you have the PC that runs the panel. So this powers a whole network for the whole sim to operate on. And also from there, you have the power, which runs to its own transformer, which is 2,500 volt. Um, and that powers the commercial motors for the motion platform All right, cool. and the whole sim. All right, so now we're inside of the cabin. Um, so to kind of show how the, the sim runs, there is one main big computer which runs that hosts the whole visual. It's behind a little curtain so you can't see it, but it's um, just a standard flight sim computer. It's made with you know custom parts and stuff just to give the best visual experience we can. So the main visual PC is running the visual and hosting the sim software. Now to make the sim really, really perform well, we have a second PC which is installed inside of the flight panel. And, the P and this PC runs the G1000s and all the button interface input and output. So the two PC solution really allows the visual PC to focus on providing a world-class visual while a dedicated PC to run the cockpit makes sure that the cockpit continues to run reliably again. And, you know, again, this is because with the, you know, with our FAA approved advanced ATD simulators, we really want to make sure that we have as much reliability as we can. So a couple other quick features outside of the obvious, um, we have fans for a ventilation system. So you can turn the fans on and then you can adjust the speed of the fans. So they're variable control, because um, it can get hot in here, so you want airflow. Um, beyond that, we have multiple cameras. So we have a camera here, and then we have another camera over here. So this camera faces the panel, and this camera faces the pilot. So the instructor from the outside instructor station, they can see what the pilot is doing, um, both on the pilot and on the panel. Um, also, you'll see down here, we have hookups right here for an aviation style headset. And this is for a voice activated um, link, just like the real airplane. So you can talk to the instructor or the co-pilot, um, just like you would in the real airplane. So another really important thing that these sims are equipped with is this iPad holder. Um, 
So it'll fit a full-size iPad um, all the way down to just your cell phone. And the SIM is compatible with ForeFlight. So you can hook your iPad up here and connect right to ForeFlight and it'll geo-reference and everything just like it does in the real airplane. And you can sign your electronic logbook and everything. So we have um, iPad mounts for both the pilot and for the co-pilot. So another um, part of the tour of the cockpit, you see, again, since we're doing approved ATDs, um, we really got to have a very good representation of the cockpit. We need to have a good transfer of learning. So we have, you know, very realistic throttle controls. Um, the yokes are very realistic. They have a lot of movement in and out. Um, we have a trim wheel. Um, and you'll find that a lot of the buttons and the switches in here, they look, feel, and perform very similar to the real airplane, almost exactly. Um, very high quality controls, which is very important with, uh, with approved simulator. This is the motion control box. So we can turn the motion on, and you see we've got a green light that indicates the motion is active. So we have a level function just to make sure we're level, and then when we switch it to fly, we're now taking input from the simulator. Um, just in case things go a little bit wrong, it, at any point in time, you can push this button and this is an emergency stop to the sim. So it emergently, it emergency shuts off the motion control platform. Like I just pushed it. Motion immediately stopped. There's also, for safety reasons, another emergency stop on the motion platform outside of the simulator. Okay, we're back outside and the emergency stop for the motion platform that I talked about inside the sim, there it is out here. Now, this is not necessary for an advanced ATD, but we have this very realistic fiberglass cabin and it's almost fully enclosed. And what that does, it gives you a feeling of immersion um, that you just can't get without it. So it's a very, very nice piece to add to any motion sim because when you're in the cabin, your body and your brain will make the connection. It'll feel the motion very realistically. Okay, so one last thing that we want to mention is that uh, with Virtual Fly in North America, our team located based out of Tampa, which is um, primarily myself and a few other people, um, we take care of most all tech support so if you purchase this in the U.S., um, it will most likely be myself who comes out on site and is your point of contact for service, support, warranty items. And we cover the sim for a full three years. And the tech support is basically unlimited. So whenever you call, we're always going to answer. We're always going to be there to take care of you.